Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Galaxy the Dimensional, or welcome back to. Uh, so probably a lot of you didn't expect that I come back to this series, and I didn't entirely expect that I'd come back to it either. But, this is the PC version, this is the Steam version. So we're going to be playing, uh, we're gonna be playing this. Why am I coming back to it? Two things. One, I love this game. It's actually really good, and it's one of my favorite games, uh, to come out this year. It's really unique, and gorgeous, and fun, and campy, and whatever. Problem is, the uh, the original difficulty settings on the PS4 were ridiculously hard, aka the game would only checkpoint you between chapters, and if you lost during one mission too many times, you'd lose all your stuff, which made it almost impossible uh, to continue on, continue on, and you'd have to restart the entire chapter to have a chance at completing it. This was kind of bullshit. So, I, uh, you know, I, I put the series on hold because it was hell on my fingers, and I didn't like the PS4 controller for the game that much, and stuff like that. And, well, now it's on Steam and they've got a new difficulty setting, so I'm going to be playing it. Here we are. Arcade. Checkpoints after every mission. A challenge for people who don't like being kicked while they're down. Or, checkpoints ever after every season. There are five missions. Uh, so, effectively, every five missions. Rogue difficulty. If you pick up this game, do not play on rogue difficulty. <laughs> it's not worth it. I mean, if you really, really want a challenge, sure. But try arcade mode first. You're going to get the same experience, but you're not going to rage quit. So... Arcade mode, long night. Unfortunately, we do have to start the campaign over. Sorry. Nothing left to lose now. Death is just part of the circle of life. Glorious. Just what I want to hear. Man, I I have actually missed this game. I This is one of those where I didn't want to drop the series, but kind of had to. X Squadron, report in. Y Squadron, report in. Anybody? Here, I'm here. Identify yourself. ATAC. ATAC? Yeah. Your launch ship's intact. Where is the regular radio op? No, it's gone. I'm in a Galak S fighter. Kurokawa's ship. He got hit before they launched. And I'm as good as gone. I've got a dead stick. ATAC, I need you to concentrate. You're the last fighter left. Cycle through your systems. Let's calibrate that steering. I'm going to have you aim at the targets. Aim down. Just point the stick in the direction you want to aim. Good. Aim up. Aim at the next target. Okay, good. You're calibrated. Test fire your lasers. Working. Check your forward thrusters. Thrusters, good. Looks good. Remember, steering and thrusters work together. Now, your reverse thrusters. Yeah, got it, got it. When using thrusters, a faint blue bubble around your ship shows the distance enemies can hear you. Looks like your controls are working. Oh yeah, coming back online. What happened? The Imperials, the Baron's entire fleet. They were waiting for us, hammered us the moment our fleet came out of warp. I don't know how I managed to get us out of there. I don't know if anyone else made it. Okay, I've got a read on your signal. Your, uh, ATAC. I need you to listen and do exactly as I say. It's bad, right? I mean, th there's no way that doesn't mean I'm screwed. Well, you're in a narrow band of asteroids surrounded by Imperial Dreadnoughts. Those rocks are probably preventing them from scanning you. There's a gap in their coverage on the far side of the belt. Make it there and I can warp you back. First, I want you to head to this large asteroid. It seems to be hollow. You'll be able to use it for cover as you fly through it. I've marked it on your guidance system, so just follow the targeting arrow. Okay, voice on the radio, I guess I'll trust you. This voice on the radio is Beam. 
and I'm bringing you to the science vessel Axelios. Okay, Beam. Here's to hope. Let's make sure your boosters are functional. Just hold down boost. Whoa! Watch your engine temp. You have to give it time to cool down between boosts. Adam Takamoto, Academy Class of 23. Yeah, are you pulling up my records? Zero confirmed kills. Look, lady, you can confirm everything I just killed. Okay, okay. We just haven't worked together before. Just trying to understand who you are. Hey, I've reached a big asteroid, and there's definitely a cave system. Looks dark inside. Well, go in and keep reporting. Your shields will absorb all but weapons-grade collisions, so don't worry about bumping into walls. I like that about this you game. You can also break. Just hold both thrust buttons at once. There's no way I'm going to have any commentary in this first episode. Just saying. They talk way too freaking much. Uh, let's see, should I explore? I never remember if there's upgrades on the first level or not. But, luckily, we got some peace and quiet, so I, ca I can actually fly through here without, you know, having to worry about... Oh, they, like, pop off. Okay. Yeah, without having to worry about them talking over me. Unfortunately, this reboot, the series, whatever, is going to be very talky, where... Your shields will absorb initial blows. They do need time to recharge. Get hit while your shields are down, and you'll take permanent health damage. You'll see your shields represented as the blue bars on your HUD. The red bars indicate your health. Uh, a repair kit? Good find. Your salvage unit can suck it up. Micro machines repair health you've lost in battle. I don't know if you're gonna try talking, unfortunately. And we got an enemy. You've got probes between you and the exit. Take them out before they report you to the destroyers. Just keep firing and moving. Take that! Uh, I'm out. Good. I found missiles nearby. It's on your way. Open your map to get a sense of it. I'm afraid to talk because they're just going to start talking to me. Like, immediately. This is just kind of the state of this game, but it's one of those where it's like, well, I'm just going to sit here silently while it happens. Uh, missiles are back online. More probes. Be ready to take them out. Just waiting. For the inevitable. <laughs> probes oh. Spotted. Test your missiles on them. Hold the missile button to open the targeter. Hold the targeter over enemies to build missile locks. Keep holding to lock on more missiles. Release to fire. Can I speak yet? Maybe? <laughs> oh well. It's not the end of the world. It, it gets better. A little bit. But it does, it does get better. See ya. Money in the bank. I like these little probe things. They're just running around. I set up the beacon. Get to it and get out. Oh, sweet, sweet freedom. Don't get too cocky. The beacon signal rings out loud and clear, and there's a good chance they'll have sent someone to investigate. Not to mention all of these dreadnoughts. Beam, they're getting closer. Well, so are you. Stingray, he's guarding the beacon. Looks like Imperials got here first. Take him out. All clear. Let's go. <laughs> Took him out before he could even do anything. Ah, oh, I love the I love the dreadnoughts in the background. They look so cool. Then again, everything in this game looks really nice. It's a really nice, like, cartoony feel. They did a great job with it. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shut up and let them talk. Whenever I can get the chance. Just because. It's better than trying to shout over each other. There's no landing gear. That bothers me a bit.
All right, welcome to the Excelios. Your progress is automatically saved here. Quitting or dying during a mission will allow you to return to the Excelios and try the mission again. Complete all five missions in the season to unlock the next one. Easy enough. So we're gonna do, yeah, let's do the next one. You made it back. I can't believe it. You killed at least. I have a plan. Fight the Imperials, strike at their heart. ATAC, you're the only pilot left. W what? After the ambush, the fleet. They're all gone. And our ship, the Axelios, is running out of water, power, oxygen. Did you signal for help? Our long-range communications and navigation are offline. That's bleak. That's tough. I don't know what you'll do. You're our only hope for survival. Can you keep us alive while I get our systems back online? Okay. I may be a new pilot, but lucky for you, I'm amazing. You can count on me. I will. Fingers crossed. I'm getting a signal. SOS, SOS. I was attacked by White Tusk and pinned in a cave behind an overreactive Imperial turret. My shields are fried and I need extraction. That's Crash. Hey, Tac, get ready for your first mission. Right. Okay, Prolog 1, with the fleet wiped out, comes down and navigation offline. We need all the help we can get. An old friend, an expert mechanic, is in trouble. If we offer him help, he might just do the same for us. Still bothers me there's no landing gear on the Gallic S. No. Well, also, for people that don't know and didn't see the original series, various things to talk about. Uh, oh yeah, all of the uh, episodes are written okay. by different people. There's a vessel in the area ahead. Find and escort my friend, Crash, and I'll open a warp point. Exactly who is this friend? A mercenary mechanic. Never trust a mercenary beam. This mercenary can make us weapons. Fine, I'll suspend my disbelief. It's taking damage! Man, I wish you fought as well as you explode. And that's mine. I don't have the dodge module, do I? Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Mechanic friend crash. Is this unclear? Oh no, Beam, I understand. I understand everything. Ah, shields down! Ooh, bye bye That said, I do have missiles, so it kind of solves the problem. I should probably head for the, uh, I should probably head for the module, just because that's how I get the, uh, dodge module, I believe. No reason to be outside farming when I don't even have anything to buy. Okay, so, uh, this is, hey, this game... What kind of person is Crash? He's a bit of a hermit. Keeps to himself. Likes the stuff he likes. Do you think he'll like me? Why not? Right up the tailpipe. So this game was made by Team 17, which is actually kind of an interesting team. I believe they're actually... It's a... Both a US and a Japanese de developer, primarily. SOS. SOS. Calling any neutral parties within broadcast range. I am scuttled and require someone to take out an Imperial turret that has me holed up in this cave. I can reward you with weapons and parts. Game is a lot. Oh. Ow. Stupid Empire! I got you now! I'm hit! Uh, it was a lot harder without the dodge module. SOS, SOS. Requesting assistance. Shut up, Crash. Cave with down shields by an Imperial turret. I've already heard this. For me, and I'll give you the best weapon in my stash. Deals on everything else too. Unfortunately, he keeps repeating that. Close enough. That was a little bit wasteful, but whatever. Oh shit! I don't think I actually killed him. Yep, didn't hit him with enough missiles. Oh well, not the end of the world. There we go. I need emergency extraction from this stupid cave. I'm pinned behind an overzealous Imperial turret, and my shield reactor is fried. Requesting immediate assistance. You will be rewarded. He really does not actually stop talking. It's actually kind of annoying. Okay. Space bugs. Got him. All right. Yeah, so... Uh, Requesting immediate assistance. White Tusk is gone from the sector. Don't worry about him. Probably. Uh, please stop talking. This game is very hard to let's play. It just doesn't work half the time. It gets better. It seriously does. But right now, he's just going to keep SOSing constantly. And I'm exploring, though I'm not entirely sure if I need to. I'm exploring because A, I can, and B, um, usually there's like upgrade modules and stuff that you can get. Like that green marker, I think, is going to one that I missed around the corner. I think he might have, I think he finally might have shut up. Which is great. Oh! Yeah, it's one of the secret ones. 
still... No dodge module makes this a little bit uh, hairy just because I can't dodge uh, above things. Uh, it, it's interesting just how much of like a reliance on... Wait, really? Was that it? That was it. So there's just a bug in here and that that's what we can... Alright. I was expecting something other than just some resources. Oh well. Whatever. Completionism and exploration for the sake of stuff. Looks like we also got something down in here. So... Yeah, there we go. Supplies. Space junk. Got it. Not exactly the greatest reward. In fact, that's barely any at all. But this is kind of the point I'm... Uh, kind of the reason why I'm doing it anyway. Even though it's not exactly the most useful thing in the world, I finally have some time to actually speak. So, uh, as I was trying to say earlier, this game was made by Team17, which has a US branch and a American branch. Which is kind of an interesting thing. I don't... I haven't heard of a whole lot of studios that actually... That actually have, like, such a setup. Especially for, like, effectively an indie studio. Uh, the only other game that I know these people have made was, um... Skulls of the Shogun. Which is actually a very high-quality game, all things considered. But I had I had no idea that you know it was the same people. I had no idea that Skulls of the Shogun was a Japanese indie game. Uh, the Japanese indie market is particularly small, and for the for the most part non-existent. So uh, it's always interesting to run across. All right, uh, shields. Uh, oh yeah, Skulls of the Shogun. Yeah. So I don't I don't actually know how many. Yep. This is gonna hurt. Luckily, it doesn't matter so much in the first. In the first mission. But it does suck a bit. Okay, good. Yeah. Without, without the dodge module, dodging here is hard. Yeah. Uh, Team 17, Japanese Indie Market. I don't know. Uh, I know there are a couple. I, I know there's like a Mech Fighter one. Specifically. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if that qualifies as fighting ATAC, but uh, you know what? Uh, extreme destruction of... That person... Somebody just flew into the spike here. That spike will actually hurt you. Uh, pretty badly, too. I've used it to fairly good uh, levels of success in the past. The uh, Okay, so let's talk about the environmental stuff, seeing as I'm scatterbrained here. So we've got these bubbles, which are actually kind of cool. They actually reflect your shots. We've got the spike things, which... Um, the spike things will take out your shields. Uh, and all of these, by the way, work on both you, the character, and the enemies. So if you can lead them or knock them into the spikes, or lead them through like a, a spike trap or something like that, you can take out their shields and it makes it a lot easier to kill a lot of things. That said, not necessarily uh, needed, but it is handy. Okay, let's go down this little pit. I don't remember being this slow. I think, uh, okay. I think I had a speed boost last time. I'm trying to get through here is a little bit on the not. Little bit obnoxious. Can I do? Can I do a backwards boost? I don't. I don't actually remember. Can I? Yeah, yeah. You can still do the backwards boost. I didn't know if you needed to unlock that one. Okay. Uh, did I get what I needed? Yeah. Let's see. Do I have anything else in here? Probably not. Okay. Uh, let's see. Other things to explain. If you look in the top right corner, we've got a green. Uh, we've got a green number and a purple number. The green number is our money, effectively. It's salvage, scrap, whatever you want to call it. You get that every time you kill an enemy. The purple is the crash coin. Uh, that's effectively the number of lives you have. Though I'm not entirely sure if that means how many lives you have before you lose the uh, lose the chapter overall, or what, because, you know, arcade mode might have a completely different system now. I don't know. Something, something to note at the very least. Okay, and looks like I've actually completed this area. That was maybe a little bit too... I don't even know what he's saying there. ATAC will say, just talk constantly. Uh, which is... I'm not gonna say terribly inconvenient, but it does make it kind of awkward to let's play around. So expect me to sit down and shut up a lot. Alright, so I'm out of missiles. And my aim is garbage. Got it. Perfect. Thank you for the uh, the slow plant thing. Also, the regrow, of course. 
crash. It's Beam. Beam. <laughs> Holy heck, is your timing great? Get me out of here. Aim to make a deal? Name your price. Trade for trade and a trip home to Earth. Signed and sealed. Then I'll spin up a warp beacon. Whoop. Your new home sweet home. I didn't know you could actually like crash into Crash's ship. I wish they had made Crash's ship look cooler. Cause like the Galaxy S looks great. The Crash's ship flying toaster. Oh well. Thumbs up. I guess I don't have the dodge module yet. Well, whatever. I have said a grand total of maybe like, eh, I, I think I've talked for half the episode. It, it feels really weird, you know, I'm always such a talker when, when Let's Playing, that not talking feels wrong. So let's try one more. Good work, Atac. Crash has parked himself below decks and wants to talk with you before you head out. What am I heading out for? You're going to pick up the black box of a fighter lost in the ambush. Got it. Crash has pointed at us towards wreckage from the ambush. By recovering your squadmates' flight records, we may be able to learn more of the Imperial fleet. Hey, thanks for the pickup back there. Here, uh, I'd like to reward you. A big pile of salvage. It's as good as cash this far from civilization. In exchange, I'll fix up your ship with the goodies I come across. Why don't you buy one now? Pleasure doing business with you. Move on and let's get it equipped. Let's see, do I need any other things? Nope. Okay, Any cool. Weapon upgrades you get, you gotta equip. Your main laser is modular and will shift radically based on what you get your hands on. Okay, right, left to change. It's yeah, easy enough. And you're good. Okay, so now we've got now we've got auto fire, which is actually really nice. Uh, anything else here? Nope. Of course not. It's the second mission. I really wish I could transfer my save between my PS4 and this, just so I could continue where I left off. Then again, I'd be a little bit rusty, so starting over isn't necessarily the worst thing in the world. Okay, riddles of dogfights. I've got two signals for you to hunt down. Beam, how'd you pick these up? Crash had started salvaging parts from the battle. He offered it up. Uh. Hey, I provide a valuable service to the community. We're in desperate straits, Atac. Okay, so now I've got the auto fire module, which means I shoot twice as fast, give or take. It's kind of the generic one. I like how Crash is like, you saved me, here's a bunch of money. Now, uh, please spend it on me. Oh, I've got him stuck. Signal, we rescue the pilot, and we all head home happy, right? It's nice to help, but no. Realistically, we're the only survivors. Then why am I doing this? Well, we can pick up clues to the Imperial Fleet's movement after the battle. Not to mention, we need the spare parts. Ching. This game's kind of dark, in a way. Like, everybody's dead, good luck. Oh, no. I don't know. I don't mind it that much, but it's definitely one of those where it's just like, this game does not start happy. Oh, you were poking around the battle side crash? Yeah, don't worry. There were a lot more dead Imperials in the line. Trust me. Let the wildlife soften them up before you get too involved, attack. Taking damage! Shields down. A hug works too. Excellent. That was a juke module. And it's in good shape, and your ship installed it. Try it out. Whoa! This is good. Right. The juke lets you leapfrog projectiles, missiles, enemies, small rocks. Use it to dodge, and use it often. Okay, so now we've got the most important thing in the game, as far as I'm concerned. Meh, yeah, there's like one or two other things that are handy. Oh yeah, I didn't talk about the, these things before. They are shooter modules. Uh, so they, well not shooter modules, shooter plants, I don't know exactly what you want to call them. They will actually attack, so if you hit them, I mean, they can hit you. Equipped and on board. I'm reading more Imperial signals, and clustered around the other wreck. What? Can they pick up the tracking signal too? Well, yeah. It's in encrypted, but our enemies can still see where it's coming from. Well, that's dumb. Laws of physics, sorry. Let's see. I like the writing writing in this game, despite the fact that I'm, you know, constantly battling to get a word in edgewise. It, it still feels really good, like, listening to these characters. Oh, fuck. You're big. Screw you! Oh, crap. You can't dodge over those guys anymore. They have too much physical mass. Good to know. I guess I can still kind of joust them, though. But, uh, I think I used to be able to jump directly over them. Which was always a little bit nonsense. Oh, hey, I just got a thing. Uh, so if you notice, my health is up to five. 
But the, uh, the little... The little bar? Uh, the last bar is, like, this kind of weird... Like, it's shaped differently? That means it's temporary health. So as long as I don't lose that health, I have it. Which ultimately feels a little bit meaningless, but, uh... If you can, like, never lose it, and you get to the final mission, it's like, Hello, you have a lot of health. And your survivability is, uh... Much higher as a result. Okay. Oh, this is just salvage. No shields. Can't take another hit. Okay, so where am I going? In here somewhere? I eventually also get modules that make it so, uh, I have extra shields. Problem is, running through those plants, eh, it's not, not so bad later. There, there are less of them. Where am I going? Or is this just having me, like... Come in at what? Okay, this does not know where to guide me. I'm just going to assume that I'm done with whatever's in this cave and we're good to go. Can't get hit again. Yeah, I don't remember there being so many of these plants later on in the game. Oh, hello. We got friends. Hello, friends. I am good at shooting things. Okay, so now that I got the dodge mo module, I can jump over most things. I don't know if I can jump over wreckage. Okay, yeah, so things with lar large amounts of, like, mass, I'm not going to be able to jump over, but, like, enemy attacks, smaller enemies, uh, that sort of thing. Missiles? Are there even missiles in this game? I don't know. Uh, I can jump over all of them, and it makes it much easier on me. Because I can effectively play Joust with most enemy spaceships, and up until later, works fairly well. Uh, let's see. What, what else about this? Unfortunately, since I'm not doing this blind, I'm just kind of like, well... Try not to take more than that. There we go. I have no idea if his shields are back up. The answer no is no. Beautiful. Okay, it does seem like they've cut down on uh, Imperial Chatter just a little bit. They're still talky, but they're light. They're less screamy. We'll see. But uh, when on the, on the PS4 version that I first played, it was just like constant chatter all the time. Up, oh, nope. We got somebody to kill out here. I don't really need to, but the extra money helps. Ooh, this is one of the big ones. Yep. Okay, you're a nuisance. Ow. Hammerheads are a lot tougher, especially because I don't have uh, I don't have the. Oh, really? Assault muzzle. Oh, wait. I'm not sure if I want the assault muzzle. So he actually had an upgrade on him. I've never actually seen an enemy carrying around an upgrade. Let's leave. Bye. You can also back up fast. You can use it. You can use the booster to speed backwards. Whoop. Yeah, gonna catch me. I'm definitely a gingerbread man. Okay. So seeing as we got an upgrade from an enemy, I doubt I'm going to be able to get more upgrades from enemies, but I'm still going to test and see. I just realized I need to have my headphones off. At least partly so. Just in case. Let's see. But yeah, if I can farm enemies for upgrades, that actually might be a little bit better for me overall. Okay, there we go. And perfect. Yeah, I don't actually know what happens when you go for deep space, and I don't want to check it because there are actual penalties. Okay. I didn't know there are benefits for blowing those things up. Some, sometimes when you find, like, shipwreckage and stuff, you, uh... The shipwreckage is, uh, actually, like, valuable. It's not worth much scrap, but still can be worth an amount, which is handy. Unfortunately, these things take forever to kill. Eventually, you get like bonus, uh, bonus shots and uh, and fire. The fire makes it a lot easier to kill things like that. And we're just the sword. We'll get there. 
We'll get there eventually. It, it's one of those where I'm like not trying to speak about like things that I've seen, things that things that I'm coming across because I, for all intents and purposes, this is an episode one. Huh. Um. This is interesting. So, apparently, I've got the. Okay. It was it was bugged for a second there, where I was just can can the camera oh can the camera not decide to keep me off the camera? <laughs> it really wanted me to go to go to the right. I do not want to go to the right. I want to go to the left because pretty much yeah, freaking I don't care. I don't care about that. I'm not going there. I'm going over here. There's shit to do. See? No shields. This is bad. Okay. There's salvage in there. And very frustratingly, it's like, we're gonna shift the camera away from this. I mean, truly, it's supposed to kind of obfuscate the fact that there is a secret there, but it's really obnoxious when the camera's just like, derp. No. No, keep me centered at all times. I really wish I'd stop shooting here. I, for whatever reason, my, uh, my gun keeps switching over to, like, toggle shot mode. And won't stop shooting. I'm like, I would very much like to not not shoot here. Uh, there are all these things that take out my shield, which luckily, you know, we don't have to worry about so much. But still. Because we don't have the temporary shield booster that's uh, you know valuable and well, ultimately. I don't think I've seen a bug that color before. Yet. Yeah, I didn't know about most of the... Oh, it's Crash's ship. Okay. This one looks... Scary, though, so I'm not terribly... Oh, shit. This one does shooting. Yeah, I've, I've never seen a bug... A bug like this before. Uh, I didn't know about the, the secrets when I first played this game, so... Uh, I, I see the target. It's a dark, cuboid object. Fuck. Read it clear. Grab the black box, Atak. Hold on tight and I'll get you out. A hammerhead? You're taking this seriously. Make sure to juke over his shots and keep moving. <laughs> yes. On the did I get two birds, one stone there? I think I did. Cause yeah, there's the bug done, and we've we've got uh, we've got a gun upgrade. All right, beautiful. So he's it. Uh, let's see. So this is Crash's shop. Sometimes he has uh, useful things like the shield overcharge. This one's actually pretty handy. Um, but I'm probably not gonna buy it. Not for the first chapter. My track record has been pretty poor as far as, um, my, my track record's been pretty far, poor as far as avoiding damage. So we're gonna buy, not the assault muzzle, I actually don't like it that much. We're gonna buy the, uh, the spread shot. I think that'll be good enough. Because pellet particles is really handy. Okay, and we don't have enough money for anything else. But this is, uh, this is pellet particles, which, eh. This is getting hot. Shields down. That's why... I don't feel... Oh, God. That is a big bug. That is why I didn't feel like buying the shield module. Because there's too many things to get rid of my shields right now. It would be a gross waste of money. And considering I don't have much. Okay, let's uh, look around. We can leave? But there's got to be more stuff here. I've, I'm, I'm having a really good time of finding upgrades here. So it's kind of one of those where it's like, don't leave yet, Wanderbot. You might get something cool. I know there's like a plasma... Sh yep. Is that it? Yes. Blast fire. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the burst fire one. Wow, yeah, I've gotten a lot of the upgrades right off the bat here. Which is surprisingly useful. Okay. Do we have any mooks out here? Because sometimes they, they hide... Yep. Sometimes they hide secrets out in the wastes. And if you destroy them, you get bonuses. Kind of wish they wouldn't do it, just because it's kind of inconvenient, but whatever. I think we had one runaway up here. Yeah, we did. I think it was just one of the drones. Guess it was more than just one of the drones. Alright. Good to know. Okay, well, whatever. These guys are easy. 
Hammerheads are not exactly the most threatening thing in the world. So I think with this, I'm actually gonna... Eh, no, we don't need to go back to Crash's Dash. We can just go back to the actual uh, end of the mission and buy the stuff between missions. Because you only unlock stuff during missions? Well, like the major important things, anyway. Okay. So let's get out of here. I don't know why the beacon takes so long. I guess if you're under attack, you don't want it to uh, go instantaneously, because then, you know, what's the point of even having, like, the beacon summon enemies? You can just, like, hit it and warp out. Which is cheap. Okay, did I get everything? Yeah, I did. A lot of, a lot of salvage. A couple of crash tokens, which I think it's converted to salvage for the next chapter. It's been a while since I've played this. Anyway, I think that is good enough for me for now. So I will see you guys in the next episode of the uh, interdimensional galaxy or galaxy the interdimensional. I don't know the way the way the titling in this game is kind of confusing because it makes sense to say. The dimensional galaxy, interdimensional galaxy, but it's quite false there. Or that's that's the wrong way of saying it. So I'll see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.